What is going on guys, it's Sir Mr. Cherries here and today we're going to cover um, variables in the robot scripting tutorial. So what a variable is, it's something that you hold information into a value or something like that. Because I, I knew nothing about variables but I'll show you what a variable is like. But um, I'm pretty sure that it means it's something you hold information into uh, a value such as a string value or an integer integer value well, and possibly a number value as well but for that I will show you because I'm not very good at explaining because like, I have a thought processing problem so I'm not very good at explaining in tutorials so um so for example what what we'll do we're going to do uh, something about printing you know that said print hello when you get a script that actually prints out hello world <clears throat> so we're going to do our own print so something like dushex or you could do, I either do your name and then we're going to put in a number. So that's basically uh, 25. So 25 is that variable there which says dushex. And then the next one we're going to do variable equals. Yeah, um, make sure you do space equals space. Now the equals, why we have equals is, set, is so that it can operate the uh, the script or the brick well so it operates everything well it doesn't operate everything because you need to tell the script where you're doing it or somewhat or tell the script which number you're gonna put in because something like if you're if you're gonna do something like weight uh, 45 but if you have a number value then you'll have to um, well, well you don't need a number value but if you have something like wait time um, 25 then if you're going to do the wait bit, then you'll have to put in wait time because you just assign it. Well, say that uh, dushex is the wait time of 25. We put in dushex because then it'll count to 25. So we're not going to do that because we're going to print out a variable. So we do variable space equals space. So we operate it 10. And then we're going to put print. Do not space it as I tell you, do dash x, so we don't need to do 25 because we already have dash x as our variable and then we'll do print a variable so we don't need to put in 10. So it's basically things that will make it easier in scripting other than doing script.parent or game.workspace blah blah blah. So um, yeah we're going to run this but it, but see, it does nothing. But it'll tell you in the output though, because basically the output is used for checking out problems and that. So it says here twenty five and ten, and basically the loading cut uh, cutscene error. Well, I do have a cutscene error, but we're not going to use it. I'm sorry if my phone's going off. Cause it's it's always doing it because, you know, I'm popular. <laughs> not really though. Oh, I'm gonna have to put on silent. God, does my bloody head in? Sorry about that. So, um, what's next? So, as we did our print, we'll use a, va a value. We're going to use a number value for that. So, we're going to put it in our script. Or you could either put it outside your script. So, if, if you're going to put it outside your script, you'll have to do script.parents. But if you put it in, inside the script, then you'll have to do script, well, without the parent. I'll show you that once I find the number value. So we do have it in here. We're gonna call this uh, number, or or you could call it anything, but we're gonna call it variable, because that's basically part of the tutorial. So for that, we're gonna do uh, do variable, so we don't need to do script dot parent script dot variable. If you have it outside that script, then you'll go. You're gonna have to do script dot parent. So if you're in the script, so script, it will say script dot parent, which will parent the workspace. So basically, if you did parent, what it needs to tell you what what you're uh, looking for in workspace. So we're looking for variable. See that comes up as variable, so we put that in. So l let me just zoom it in for a sec. So we'll zoom that in. So there you go. So I guess you guys can see a bit better. So it's basically that, but for now we're going to put variable in our script. So do script dot uh, variable. 
but that's something different because I'll show you why. So we'll we'll have to put in a number in the value. So uh, if you don't have properties, you get that up. Go to the view up in your toolbar and then click properties and then you get properties. Uh, if none of you haven't have seen my previous tutorials, then uh, be sure to check them out though because then you'll uh, see see if it doesn't make sense or anything. <laughs> So you get properties, so you click on that value and then you go in here where it says value with a zero and then we're going to put in uh, 20 for example. So put in 20, we're going to do print in brackets variable. So not just variable because because basically we just uh, assigned it, well print it out as variable but it's going to give us nothing. So to get that 20 we're going to put in dot value so that it can get the number. Oh, basically I'm on, uh, I'm still running, sorry about that. No, we don't want to. So we'll delete those. Sorry about that guys, so a bit of a waste, a waste of time. So there we have it. So we'll get our number value. So make sure you have it named as variable, otherwise it'll not work. So basically uh, check for spell mistakes in that. So we're going to run it and we'll get our output and look, it says 20. So there we have it. So um, uh, last thing we're going to do is uh, assigning a part or whatsoever. So yeah, so we'll get, uh, get that value out. So to do that, so we get our part, go to home, and then you click parts and then uh, you'll receive a part. So it's in here, it's just spawned on, on the ground. So we're going to call this brick. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to say, if you're going to do something like for a while, but uh, that will start a loop. So um, don't do that for some reason, but I'm not going to uh, do it because then it will crash my Roblox studio and then it will be, uh, I'll, I'll be really uh, getting on my grill. So I really don't like it when the Roblox studio crashes because then it gets on my grill, especially if you're making a really cool GUI or, or a really cool thing, what you're doing, uh, such as a sliding door or a Something like that, maybe a cut scene, because then you have to fall about with the camera. So in our script, we're going to assign brick as uh, just brick, or you could either call it variable. So we'll do brick game dot workspace dot brick, so that we don't have to do game dot workspace. So then we're going to uh, do the transparency and reflection with it. So um, we're not going to do game dot workspace because we already have brick as our variable. Well, we assigned it, so we do brick dot transparency. Transparency equals zero point five, and then we're going to do brick dot reflectance equals zero point five, or zero point eight, or we'll do zero point seven. So. Um, Oh, I'm on. I didn't even reset this thing. Sorry about that, guys. So we'll quick, quickly do that. I'm quite tired, um, to be honest. Why is it not working? Come on. Oh, my God. Sorry about that, guys. We're back in this tutorial. But the thing is, I, I did not even made a loop or somewhat, but I'm not sure what happened there because I was just um, deleting the script or something. We'll delete in the words in the script really. So um, right now we'll get our script and then we're going to get our part back. So we need to make sure we name our part as brick. Put that on the floor. And then in our script we're going to do brick equals, so we operate it, game dot workspace dot brick. So there we have it. Or you can either call it something else. You don't have to call it a brick or anything, but if you're if you're going to name the same thing as that, if if you're assigning like script dot parent or game dot workspace, then it, it's just going to catch the brick. It's not going to catch the other part. So um, uh, remember to uh, yeah, you kind of call it like uh, brick one or brick two, but don't name the same thing as that. So just just need to tell you. This. So next we'll do brick dot transparency and yeah make sure you leave a paragraph so that we could do uh, everything else down there so 
do 0 0.5 brick dot reflectance 0 0.5 make sure you have our brick names so you run that and then there we have it so that's it for the tutorial so uh, make sure you have uh, you have different variables not the same variable as you're trying to name something so be careful on that and um, uh, basically you could put any uh, any name when you're doing variables but except you're gonna have to or well, you could do any variable like you could do your name or like game dot workspace dot base plate or uh, or part or or brick as I usually named my part brick so basically do anything with it and have a thought about um, see if you um, you, you know what well, see, see if you get used to it so if you enjoyed this tutorial I suppose um, well feel free to give it a like and a comment comment if you have any thoughts and subscribe to my channel if, if you want to see more of scripting tutorials or anything like that I'll possibly do GUI tutorials as well I'm, I'm I'm hardly going to do building tutorials, but I'll think about doing that. Maybe building and scripting tutorials, both together, really. So um, for that, we're gonna we're just going to do tutorials separate. So um, if you if you have any questions, you can either leave a comment, ask questions, and or you can either message me on Roblox. My Roblox name is Dushx. So, um, as you see, if if I name my variable as Dushx, that's my name. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.